Hi everybody, it's Andrew. Welcome back. <clears throat> Today we're going to be continuing colouring in the Worlds of Wonder book by Johanna Basford. And we're going to be doing the... Oh, excuse me, that's my chair display table in the middle. And seeing what we can do with that. <sighs> I really want to try and film these on a Tuesday so I've got time to get them set ready for YouTube but the world is conspiring against me um, again because <laughs> um, I've had Jennifer off home a little bit on the ill side so yeah last Thursday she came home she had a bit of a cough and a sore throat and she got a bit of a temperature so she stayed off Friday and she was poorly all weekend, didn't feel like doing anything. And then come Monday, still poorly. And now she went back to school today, which is obviously Wednesday. I haven't seen my mum in hospital since Sunday because obviously I can't leave Jennifer at home. Uh, although Paul is home. He is working and he hasn't, he can't be keeping an eye on her, so I haven't had any time to do any filming. I've still got to edit together the reading wrap up. So now she's back at school, I'll have a bit of time to do that. I also want to go to my mum's house and steam clean her carpet so it's all nice and clean for when she finally comes home. No idea when that's going to be, by the way. But yeah, other than that, I'm fine. A bit tired. Last night she had a funny night. Um, not from being ill, because she wasn't. She just... She hates any kind of bug. And there was a crane fly, or daddy long legs as we call them, in her bedroom. So she freaked out. Decided to come into my room. Now, I was sleeping... Well, my room, our room. I was actually sleeping in the spare room, because Paul snores. So I'm in a single bed. So she decides to get into bed with me and her size now she's going to take up pretty much most of the bed. So I'm like not sleeping. So by three o'clock I'm wide awake. I'm <sighs> not doing very well. <laughs> so I haven't had much sleep. I did have a little dose this morning after I dropped off at school. Um, I went and had my flu jab today because it is that time. And I'm doing this. I'll get this done and start editing it together before I go and pick Jen up from school at three o'clock. Tomorrow I will definitely go and see my mum because she's uh, she'll be um, Jennifer will be in school tomorrow, so I can go down. Mum did ring yesterday, so you come in today. I went. Oh, Jennifer's still off sick, mum. I said, oh. Oh no, 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 that's fine. Don't worry about that then. Come in when you can. I said, I'll hopefully be in as soon as I can, but I don't know when it'll be. Cause I would have gone in straight from the flu jab today, but Paul's got a meeting at three, so he can't block out time and go and meet her, which is annoying. Otherwise, he could, he'd have gone and got Jennifer. He'd have blocked out half an hour. Because he's got some time in. But because... I'm actually sweating, boiling here. I don't know why. But because he's got a meeting... He's got to go to that instead, so. It's annoying, but it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. I will go and see her tomorrow. So I'm really tired today, so if this colouring isn't the best, you know why. <laughs> it's because I'm tired. I still like these pencils, though. I don't use... I've got so many different kinds of pencils, and I hardly use any of them, because I use markers most of the time. Yeah, I really like using pencils, so I don't know why. I think it's because picture done with pencils takes a lot longer. I should, I, I mean, I sometimes I do put, put a pencil over some marker, but not very often because once I've coloured it once, I don't want to colour it again. I'm not an artist. I just like colouring it, find it relaxing and stuff, so... I left the shed door open yesterday because I went up there to get something out of the shed last night or yesterday afternoon and Zed went in there and I couldn't get her out and I thought I can't be standing here I've got to go and get stuff done 
So I left the shed door open. <laughs> I forgot about it and I've shut it this morning. <laughs> Oops, it's gone out of focus again. Alright now. Yeah. So yeah. Joys. Joys of having a cat. She's a lovely cat, don't get me wrong, I love her to bits, but I mean honestly. She can be a pain, but Another thing I felt ever so guilty yesterday on Tuesday because I forgot the Monday was my parents' wedding anniversary. Of course, Dad's not here now. And to be honest, Mum probably doesn't know what the date is because in hospital, unless she specifically looked at her phone, which she didn't yesterday. I felt ever so bad. But she never mentioned it yesterday. So... I'll see her tomorrow and I'll talk to her then. I said, did you realise Monday was your wedding anniversary? And she goes, no, I didn't. I said, well, at least you didn't get upset then. So. I think Christmas will be the worst. Christmas will be the worst because Christmas Eve was his birthday. Um, oh, God, my eyes. My eyes are so tired. I can barely see and I've got the light on, so... I can try and brighten up the picture a bit. Well, mostly it's for you guys, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to slow down on, on buying books, but people keep putting them out. And I obviously, Halloween, I always buy loads anyway. So I'm back to not trying to buy books, both reading books and these things, <laughs> these colouring books, but I see so many I want, and I've got so many, I mean I've got nearly 600, if I include all the PDFs as well, because obviously I do get the, and I still haven't finished the last one, the Ava Brown ones, because I'm a member of the team, the launch, they call it the launch team, I can't. my brain's not working, I've got to be honest, it's not. Um, so I get them now, I've been colouring this picture and I am using pencils and I'm enjoying it because the pencils, with the particular book that they're putting out at the moment, the, these little vill ones with the mice, there's quite a lot of small detail so it's easier to go in and do it with pencils than it is with markers, as simple as. So I've been using my um, Crawford and Black pencils from the works and the, the pencils go nice on that paper that I use but it's very hard to uh, sometimes just pick up a pick the pencils up they're all there ready for me to use and I, I might do a bit this afternoon when I get Jennifer home because I make her something to eat because she'll be hungry and then I'll uh, sit down and, and try and do it but she um, she wanted to colour last night but it was too late, it was bedtime and she needed to have a shower and go to bed for school. So I might say to her tonight, do you feel like colouring tonight, my darling girl? And see if she does, because she might do. I'm just going to... Yeah, so which one do I want? I'm looking for a particular colour. Shade, I want to be a second. That one maybe. Hmm, yes. It doesn't bother me if these get mixed up. They're just, as long as they're fairly in their colour families-ish. I like the bottles page next door, I'm going to do that next. Let's see if I ever, excuse me belching, ever ever finish this one. Oh it's terrible. It's not terrible, I'm enjoying it. We are slowly getting it done. We will get it done. So. But uh, yes, she's uh, she does like to colour. I mean, on the weekend, although she was feeling poorly, she was watching something and they were building dens and she wanted to build a den and she was trying to build a den on top of the room using a television. I said, don't use a television. And she said, I want to build a den. I said, well, go and get the two, two of the dining chairs and use that. So she, she got two dining chairs. She put a blanket over the dining chairs, put some toys in it. I went and sat in there for hours. <laughs> She's very clever. She figured it out how to do it. 
if I can just get her off her tablet but then it's an issue these days we never had them so it wasn't a problem for us because there were no such things but today we did we had consoles like you know like you have the planes PlayStation they weren't like the PlayStation they were a lot older style than that so we had like things like the Atari and Mega Drive and stuff and we had we had Ataris and um she they uh, they're good they're very good and they're fun that doesn't go in that one <laughs> it goes in this one up here and so we play our we would play on those and uh nope nope yeah we'd play on them and but only at certain times of day because my parents were in charge of tv and if they wanted to watch something they watched it now not like that in our house is it <laughs> we one of the reasons we got her the tablet was so that we could that's good um she could watch on her tablet and we could uh have the tv back so that's why I, it doesn't bother me. I, I don't watch a lot of TV. There's a few things I like to watch, but I'm not bothered if I don't get to watch TV because there are things I could be doing. Um, Colouring, reading. I have something like 34 books to go to finish my Goodreads Challenge of 175. I haven't been reading this week. I haven't, I haven't been bothered. just don't feel like it. It's not like what they call a reading slump. Because I could pick the book up and do it. I just don't want to. I've been playing games on my phone and I've been colouring. I coloured one, uh, in one book, I coloured three pattern pictures, which is one of my Jade Summer ones that I'm doing the um, books to finish or books to work on. I need a drink. And um, so I started doing those. And because um, Jennifer, her. Her tablet's battery had gone, so I've got a charger by my chair for my phone, and her tablet takes the same charger. Oh, that broke. That wasn't very good. Let's try again. So I said, Can I sit over here in my seat? And I'll sit over there, colour over there. So I took the markers or whatever I was using over there. And she, oh, this pencil keeps breaking. Let's find a different one. I might have to use a different sharpener on that one. I got billions of sharpeners. I find a grand total of one in this one. Um, let me put it in the big roll and see if that's what works. That's better. Anyway. So she... Uh, and I was sitting at the other end of the sofa where I don't normally sit. And I couldn't get to a different book because they were piled under other stuff by Jennifer. So all I did was I went and I, I, I got some different pens. I did one in glitter gel pen, one in marker and one in metallics and just did that and did three in the one book. I've now retired that book for the month and have moved on to something else because now she's better and back where she sits normally which is good. Yeah, it's all good. Tired. Uh, we'll get there. I'm hoping to go somewhere soon that I can't pronounce. It's a very Welsh name. It's closing in December, so we want to go soon. I should we leave it this weekend because Paul's out. Saturday, he's going to Bristol with his mates. It'll be just me and Jen. And Sunday, he won't feel like doing anything because he'll be in a he'll be knackered. Um, so I said we'll leave it this week, and then we will go the week after. So look out for that. There will be a vlog on the place. It's called something like Lang Ha 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 Manor, and it's an old manor house. It's a living history place. But um, the council are going to close it because they can't afford to keep everything running. There were three things they wanted to stop doing. Um, the one was that. The other was Meals on Wheels. 
and the third was to close the Blackwood and Miners Institute Art Centre. That's somewhere I used to go a lot. In fact, I was one of the first staff members there. Um, now, there's obviously been kicked back about Meals on Wheels. Now, don't, I don't, don't get me wrong, I know they've got to save money somehow. But Meals on Wheels aren't actually free. They're subsidised, but they're not free. So, for instance, if you have Meals on Wheels, the person receiving those Meals on Wheels does actually have to pay for them. They pay for them. But they're subsidised, so it's a lot cheaper than if, for instance, you were doing something else. Um, but obviously there was kickback about that, so they've said, okay, we can't do that. Then there was a lot of kickback about the Blackwood Miners Institute. Again, I understand why. It's it's a very good art centre. It's, it's just a shame that they've got to do something. So while they look into other options for the Blackwood Miners Institute, which they are looking into now, they will be that's been put on hold but the only thing that is definitely happening is Lankaka power and it's pronounced something like that but I'm not actually sure I'm not very good at pronouncing Welsh names I can pronounce certain ones but some of them not so much um, Light for that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of do the those. You cannot see what I'm doing because I'm all the way up here. Look, I'm doing the candlelight here. Okay, and the same one over here. Because let me just move it. Ooh, it's moving everything on my desk to get to it. There it is. So. Go. and then we'll do it in the little lamp too here it's a nice little book this I mean I'm not the best at colouring I know I love doing it though don't get me wrong and there's no real like metallics or gold sort of mm. what's this one like let's have a look on a piece of paper here Oh, that's sort of a greeny colour. I like. Let me just give it a sharpen. <laughs> Alright. So this is taking a while. And I know it is taking a while. I'm so sorry. I'm not the fastest at colouring. So I like the markers. Because it's quicker. I don't want it to be a black lantern. I want it to be sort of a bronzy colour, and this is the nearest I've got. And it's, actually, it's not bad. It looks quite good. Mm, that's better. We'll do the lamp, the candlesticks in this as well. Now, do you want me to continue in this in another one? Or would you like me to go and do a bit of Mythomorphia? I, I don't mind either way. I'm quite happy to sit in there colouring and chatting away to you. Because, you know, I do have friends. Don't get me wrong, I do have friends. But I don't have... Sorry, I'm trying to focus. A huge amount of friends that I hang out with a lot to talk to. So it's like I'm talking to my friends here. Because you're all my friends. So, you know, let me know. I'm hoping to finally get the money from the sale of Dad's car this week, or at least some of it. They said they're going to put it in this week, so into my bank. So I'm keeping an eye on that. There we go. It's a long story on that one. I'm not going to get into that. But uh, Christmas is going to be hard. Just because it was his birthday, Christmas Eve, you know. That's my phone. Don't worry if you're banging. It's probably me putting my phone down. I was a bit concerned that the school might phone and ask me to pick Jennifer up today because she's been poorly. Uh, this one's not on anything. It's in a bottle. So we won't do that one. 
I'll try and find a dark colour for that. Put that one back. Mm. What big colours in here? I've got all these trays out. They come in trays like this, these pencils. So I'm just having a quick look. Isn't that, that's quite a dark green, I think. Yes, that will do. So I've got them all out. I'll just shove them back in later. <laughs> oh, it's... Uh, it is funny, but it's also silly funny. Do you know what I mean? i got to laugh, because if I didn't laugh, I'd probably cry. I've got so much stuff to do. I'm still doing my um, reading journal every time I read a book. I really, really love doing my reading journal. Um, it's up to date at the moment. Hooray! Because I haven't been reading, but... I am reading a couple of books. And what am I reading? I am reading The House That Horror Built by Christina Henry, which is the story about this woman who's a housekeeper cleaner for this eccentric film director in Chicago. He's moved from Los Angeles to Chicago after the disappearance of his wife and son. And um, she goes in and cleans three times a week, um, mostly dusting things like his collection of movie props and stuff she does that with him and then things like the kitchens and the bedrooms guest rooms even though he never has any guests she does on her own but she's in this house and she can oh i found another one hang on, hang on. she hears this strange noise coming from the locked guest bedroom that she's not to clean and it's really weird she doesn't know whether or not is he holding somebody like captive in there is it his wife his son who knows and then she's cleaning what she's um gone there to dinner with her son and they're looking at the costumes and this one costume she really doesn't like even though the film's her favorite film she sees the eyes move so it's like there's somebody in the costume and it's just really spooky and you just think oh my god so it's quite, it, you know, what is going on? It's like, oh, I don't know what to do next. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck. I'm going to do the eye, uh, use the next green one and do the, is it greeny? Yeah, this is an ivy-ish colour. Do the ivy around the window. And it's like, oh my God. So, I, I mean, I am enjoying it. I haven't really finished it yet. Um, but, oh my God, what is going on in that house? Do you know what I mean? Is he, is he holding people hostage there, or what? Oh, I like that last sharpener. Where's my silver? There it is. Where's my bin? No. I'm going to try this one. That's better. Okay. So, yeah. So, it's really, really creepy, this house. And she's trying to convince herself that she's imagining things. Do you know what? I don't think she is. I think he's holding maybe his wife and son captive. But I don't know. His son was accused of murder or something like that. So I'm reading that one. And then on my Kindle, I've got a book called Maria's Walk. This one I think is in the 80s, if I remember, in a small village that's becoming a bigger town. And there's this big wood at the back with everybody hates it's terrifying and these scouts go out there camping and they see the, this ghost Maria they all see it, including the scout master and then it changes the story changes slightly and it's somebody coming home because his parents have just died in their house of carbon monoxide poisoning and he's come back to decide do I want to stay here uh, do I want to move here? Uh, am I going to sell it? What, what am I doing? You know. And he, so he's deciding whether or not to keep the house. And that's about as far as I've got. So there's not a lot of ghostly stuff happening at the moment. But I think it's going to be quite creepy, to be fair. it's It looks quite creepy. From the bit with the boys, it was not nice. They were absolutely terrified. As you would if you saw a ghostly girl standing over you and she's covered in blood and she's wielding a knife. Yeah, I know. So, um, it's got mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people hate it. 
um, like most books, it's subjective, so I don't really pay much attention to the reviews. It seems to be fairly well written, apart from the character that we were just talking about, the, the guy that's come home because his parents have died. She refers to the, the writer, I don't know who it is, I can't think of the name, revi rever brrr, refers to him by name at one point, and then in the next bit she says, the man. Instead of, say, James, I don't know what his name was, I can't remember. Which, I, that's a bit jarring. But, um, just that she says the man rather than James. Do you know what I mean? If she was saying... The man all the way through, fair enough. And if she was saying James all the way through, fair enough, whatever his name is, but she's not. She's literally... They don't seem to have a black in here. I thought there would be. Is it in this one here? I'm struggling to find a black. Is that, is that it? That's it there, that's it, I think, is it? Let me just check. Yeah. Great, I got... I'm going to be putting all these away tonight. <laughs> They're everywhere. That one goes back at the bottom. Ugh, oh, dear. It's not very good. So, yeah. So, it's really kind of weird. That's the only thing that's jarring me at the moment, is the fact she refers to him as, by name at one point, and then as the man. And it, it just seems a bit odd. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm going to do this black so it looks like lead glass. At least we're getting some of it done, it's great. Because since when I started this and it had been sitting there for like nearly a year if not longer. I mean I've got small victories, it's downstairs waiting to be done. It's one of the ones I want to colour in soon. And I slammed on it. And of course now we're into the winter months so it's October and then Christmas. So I'm going to try and get through the ones that are down there. Not just the Halloween ones. Because uh, that would be so cool. I can't believe it's nearly the end of the year already. It's not been the best of years, obviously. And for all you guys out there in the States, in Florida, and those places affected by these hurricanes, I do feel for you. I'm hoping you're keeping yourself safe. Um, stay safe and remember things can be replaced you can't you cannot be replaced you are irreplaceable so look after yourself and your loved ones I mean we're lucky we get some bad weather here but nothing like that and we are lucky with that I mean we, we can moan about it being raining or we moan about it being too hot but at least we're never going to have our houses blown away and completely destroyed. Yes, we do get flooding in certain parts of the country. And yes, people do lose their possessions. But not to the extent as in places like Florida. So my heart is with you at this time. And I hope, I just hope that it all passes soon and it settles down. Because I can't, I can't imagine how horrific this is for you guys. So I am thinking of you over here. I'm keeping a, a little bit up with the news on, on TikTok and that, just to see what's happening with it. Hoping that you're all okay. it's not nice so. I am very grateful that we don't get that here and yeah I, I just can't imagine what it's like for you guys I can't I really can't so keep the faith hold strong It's heartbreaking to lose possessions, but they are res 
they are replaceable. That stopped, I don't know how long it stopped for, but I hope that you got the message that I'm rooting for you guys in the States and that I want you all to keep safe if you're affected by the current hurricane situation that's ongoing. I'm actually going to stop there now. We've done 30 minutes. I'm trying to keep these at around a 30 minute length. We'll come back and do some more on this one if you want, or if you want me to do um, on one of the other ones, let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking of you and I hope to see you all very, very soon. Take care, look after yourselves, wherever you are in the world, and happy colouring.